Shofetim chapter 7 In Yerubal, that is Gedon, and all the people who were with him rose up early and encamped by the fountain of Charod, so that the camp of Midian was on the north side of them by the hill of Moreh in the valley. And Yahweh said to Gedon, The people who are with you are too many for me to give Midian into their hands, lest Israel boast against me, saying, My own hand has saved me. And now proclaim in the hearing of the people, saying, Whoever is afraid and trembling, let him turn back and leave Mount Gilad. And twenty-two thousand of the people turned back, while ten thousand remained. And Yahweh said to Gedon, The people are still too many. Bring them down to the water, and let me prove them for you there. And it shall be that of whom I say to you, This one goes with you, let him go with you. And of whomever I say to you, This one does not go with you, let him not go. So he brought the people down to the water, and Yahweh said to Gedon, Everyone who laps the water with his tongue, as a dog laps, separate him from everyone who bows down on his knees to drink. And the number of those who lapped, putting their hand to their mouth, was three hundred men, and all the rest of the people bowed down on their knees to drink water. And Yahweh said to Gidon, By the three hundred men who lapped I save you, and shall give Midian into your hand. Let all the other people go, each to his place. And the people took food and their shofarot in their hands, and he sent away all the rest of Israel, each to his tent, but held on to those three hundred men. Now the camp of Midian was below him in the valley. And it came to be, on that night, that Yahweh said to him, Arise, go down against the camp, for I have given it into your hand. But if you are afraid to go down, go down, you and Purah, your servant, to the camp, and you shall hear what they say, and after that, let your hands be strengthened, and you shall go down against the camp. So he went down with Purah his servant to the edge of the formation of fives who were in the camp. And Midian and Amalek and all the people of the east were lying in the valley, as many as locusts, and their camels were as numerous as the sand by the seashore. And Gidon came, and see, a man was relating a dream to his companion, and said, See, I had a dream, and see, a loaf of barley bread tumbled into the camp of Midian, and it came to a tent and struck it so that it fell and overturned, and the tent fell down. And his companion answered and said, This is nil else than the sword of Gidon, son of Joash, a man of Israel. Elohim has given Midian and all the camp into his hand. And it came to be, when Gidon heard this dream related and its interpretation, that he bowed himself down, and he returned to the camp of Israel and said, Arise, for Yahweh has given the camp of Midian into your hand. And he divided the three hundred men into three companies, and he put Shofarot into the hands of all the men, with empty jars and torches inside the jars. And he said to them, Watch me and do likewise, and see, when I come to the edge of the camp, do as I do. And I shall blow with the shofar, I and all those with me. Then you shall also blow with the shofarot round about all the camp, and say, For Yahweh and for Gidon. And Gidon and the hundred men who were with him came to the edge of the camp, at the beginning of the middle watch, as they had but newly posted the watch. And they blew with the shofarot, and broke the jars that were in their hands. And the three companies blew with the shofarot, and broke the jars, and held the torches in their left hands, and the shofarot in their right hands for blowing. And they cried, For Yahweh and for Gidon. And each stood in his place, round about the camp. And all the army ran, and cried out, and fled. And the three hundred blew the shofarot, and Yahweh set the sword of each one against the other throughout all the camp. And the army fled to Beit Shita, toward Serera, as far as the border of Avel Mechola by Tabath. And the men of Israel were called from Nephtali, and from Asher, and from all Manasseh, and pursued Midian. Then Gidon sent messengers throughout all the mountains of Ephraim, saying, Come down to meet Midian, and capture from them the watering places as far as Beit Bara and the Yarden. So all the men of Ephraim were called, and captured the watering places as far as Beit Bara and the Yarden. And they captured two princes of Midian, Orev and Ze'ev, and killed Orev at the rock of Orev, and Ze'ev they killed at the winepress of Ze'ev, while they pursued Midian. And they brought the heads of Orev and Ze'ev to Gidon beyond the Yarden.